Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. Sunday, July 11th, 2021. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the Bear Podcast for the Terminal Length, episode number 607, or 608. The, the, the number's right in front of my face, and I just can't read, apparently. Uh, yeah. So with that really bad introduction to the show, Gary, what are we talking about today? Well, we're saying goodbye to X2. Yay! Uh, uh, wait, what? Bye! Bye, Felicia. You can play the outro. Okay. <laughs> so done. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. it, it, it. He was so there we go. Good night, my kids! Uh, <laughs> I was not ready for that joke. (laughs) I thought it was pretty self-explanatory, but I I didn't um, say it wasn't self-explanatory. I just wasn't ready for it. No. Anyways, I guess what I meant was I was like it was it was obvious it was going to get teed up. But anyways, uh, so at the beginning of July 2021, the online adult community found itself suddenly facing the news that XTube.com announced it will no longer be operational as of September 5th. Gasp. Now, for those of you that have been listening to our podcast before or watching us, hi, welcome back. In COL 582, we discussed the potential end of Pornhub and Xtube. So just over six months later, this news brings further attention to the intersection of pornography, human trafficking, and illegal uploaded content. More on that in a moment. So if you went into Xtube and you have an account, this is the key thing. If you just go to Xtube.com, you don't really (laughs) see anything. But if you log in, you get a pop-up message that says the following. Goodbye, Xtube. It's a sad day for us at Xtube, but we have to announce that after 13 years, Xtube.com will be shutting down on September 5th. We're proud of the vibrant community we've built since 2008, and we're grateful to you, our amazing users who have shared and purchased content on our platform over the years. Unfortunately, it's time for us to move on to greener pastures and greater things. Since Xtube will be closing effective September 5th, purchasing additional Xtube credits and purchasing VIP or Xtube premium subscriptions has been disabled. You can continue purchasing amateur content with your account's Xtube credits until September 5th after which you will no longer be able to do so, nor have access to your account. If you are a VIP or X2 Premium subscriber, your last billing month will be July 2021. Beginning August 2021, your subscription will be canceled automatically. Please continue enjoying gay adult content on one of our sister sites, Pornhub or Men.com. For any questions, please visit our FAQ or get in touch with our support team at support at xtube.com. To our wonderful users, we thank you for your combined and continued support over the years, the Xtube team. And notably, there's a big red box that says, I understand, because it's a button that you're supposed to click. However, there's also an X in the upper right corner, so you can just ignore it. So, (coughs) I mean, good riddance? I'm going to say, considering just like, well, okay, I'm going to say this. This is all, let me finish my thought. Yeah. (laughs) Let me finish. Because literally in December, they screwed a lot of their members over by like tossing their content away. Like all of it. 
like all of my videos that I had up there, which weren't a whole lot, but I had stuff up there and I know a lot of other people did too. They just threw it out away with no warning, no explanation until after the fact. And, and now here we are, what, six months later, seven months later, and now the site's gone. So, okay, bye. Like, I, I know this is an all tea, no shade, so this is kind of what I'm feeling. Like, you screwed a whole bunch of people over by removing their content without any notice, and they couldn't download their stuff. They didn't get any opportunity to get the stuff that maybe they've had up there who knows how long. Mm -hmm. So, and then to add on to it, the only way you can put your stuff back up there is if you pay, essentially. Mm. So, I mean, you have to become an amateur and you're getting paid, yes, but you're probably paying something, I'm assuming. I don't know. I haven't looked into it because um, I really personally got a little bummed and stinged by the fact that everything that you had up there was gone. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it in that personal thing because it feels like you kind of fucked yourself over. I mean, there's other, as we saw in the... Um, links you gave us, there's obviously bigger reasons behind what is going on, mm -hmm. which are fair and valid, I think, but essentially to cover your ass, mm -hmm. you threw everyone's content away in kind of a big, you know, whitewash of all of it, and now you're expecting people to feel, like, sorry for you? Uh, I don't know if they're necessarily saying that they're they they're, they're trying to get people to do empathy. <laughs> well, they say it's a sad day. Yeah, they're they're that's a, that's a, that's well for the people the, the the people who are doing it saying that they're, they're sad about it. Whether you actually empathize with that or not, that's uh, mm. a point. Maybe you maybe you will feel feel sad about it. But in any case, they feel sad about it because they said it in their statement. Um, uh, it's just. Well, one thing is, I think it is like the downfall of the Pornhub network, uh, just kind of like, or, or at least the reduction into it. It's it's really because they're owned by Pornhub. They've got men.com. It's like Pornhub and Xtube are essentially doing the same thing, just in slightly different ways, right? Well, I think that this speaks to consolidation. Like more... I think this can speaks to more things happening in the future, though. So mm -hmm. let's talk about these recent articles. They're both from TechSpot, which I think is uh, based in the UK from the, the looks of some of the article uh, verbiage. But anyways, um, they explain. So on July 6th, there was an article told, called or titled uh, Porn Site XTube is shutting down as parent mind geek faces lawsuits. Um, and this is the most recent article about the fact that they announced that they will be shut down as of September 5th. Um, for X2. So it explains that Pornhub and its parent company, MindGeek, have been embroiled in a controversy since a report uh, was made in the New York Times last December, um, alleging that the site has profited from non-consensual videos, including those that show rape and child abuse, has led to the site stopping unverified uploads, MasterCard and Visa cut their ties with MindGeek, and Pornhub later added a new safety measure to include verification by a third party for all uploads. So that was last December. And then there's a second article uh, from June 18th called Pornhub and Parrot Mind Geek Hit with Lawsuit Over Allegations of Hosting Non-Consensual Sex Videos. So this, the one on the 18th of June is kind of more relevant because it basically explains that um, 34 women are suing the parent company MindGeek for allegedly being, quote, one of the largest human trafficking ventures in the world, end quote. Um, and it goes on explaining about how it was filed as a civil complaint in U.S. District Court in the Central District of uh, California. Um, it's really serious stuff. So, like, while we're kind of being flippant and glib, you know, and whatever about, like, the site going away, the the difficulty I personally have is, is that the MSM adult entertainment, like, online community, I don't know how else to phrase it, is like the ones that are being affected because collectively all pornography is pooled together. Mm -hmm. Now, 
I'm saying that notably with some ignorance because I don't know if any of these claims are from non-consensual videos of MSM or if there were underage individuals involved as well. But that being said, like I, I'm more personally concerned about what this means down the road because, you know, MindGeek has several companies as uh, websites, including Pornhub, also RedTube, TubeBait, YouPorn. And they also apparently have adult production companies and brands. So that's a big deal. Like we could, you know, kind of see this conservative, you know, viewpoint about pornography really kind of taking a hit if this stuff, you know, continues to come forward. And I'm not saying that the lawsuit is frivolous, not by any means. I'm just saying like there's notably a lot of things going on in the U.S. right now about Mm – you know, freedom versus rights versus like, you know, um, you know, what people think is appropriate. And that's more where I'm a little concerned because I understand that it's a business. I understand that these merchant, you know, companies for credit, Visa and MasterCard were like, nope. And they just backed the F away because they were like, hell no. Like, staying away from this. Well, yeah, because they don't want to get, you know, brought into the lawsuit as well as being yeah. a, a financial conduit for, mm-hmm. you know, money's being made because yeah. children being, and, you know, their pornography is being viewed or some shit. Is it possible that a lot of this has to deal with the whole um, um, FOSTA? Is it FOSTA? And Cessna? Whatever those ones, those two are. I always forget the the yeah. anagrams we, we had an entire show on pasta i i yeah that's what i mean like i remember mm-hmm. the anagrams i just it's but those you know the things that happen that cause a lot of um adult entertainment porn companies to rein in a lot more you know we, we mentioned that when craigslist went down you know the men you know all of those things because essentially companies are being held um liable for people using their sites for things like this which is probably where maybe potentially where this lawsuit came from you know is it's unfortunate you know that things like this happen we know that and i think my in my mind it would be great if we could pinpoint as opposed to like broad spectrum, like all of it. Well, yeah, I I think this is one of the cases where safe harbor laws kind of come into effect, but get kind of murky because Mm -hmm. you might have multiple instances of this, but considering the thousands of people who are utilizing the site, uh, policing that by the actual provider of the platform, Mm Uh, can be difficult and cost a lot of money if you're going Mm -hmm. to do it effectively where it's like this will not happen on this site because we've got we have somebody looking at every video verifying each video blah 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 Mm -hmm. blah yeah Um, so one of my issues with these the facts and the the um especially with the lawsuits um is and this is personal opinion I'm not a lawyer in regards to this sort of thing. So just mm-hmm. disclosure. Uh, but I think they're the, the issue here is they're frivolous because they're going, they're not going after the root cause of the issue. Pornhub, Xtube, any of these porn sites are platforms it means that they allow people to upload their stuff so that other people can can use it without somebody having to create their own website for 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 doing it they're providing a service they're not the ones actually making the content and some of that content may slip through the cracks as to being any of these illegal endeavors um, non-consensual uh, uh, child porn etc and the responsibility the issue comes in the fact that there are people who are doing that. If the people who are doing that and actually uploading for some godforsaken reason, then then they're the ones that they really should be going after. While a platform can 
have policing of this type of things, there are limits and things will slip through the cracks. You can't trust people who provide a platform that's open to essentially everybody, even though they've locked down since December, but that they're going well, to be able to catch everything. And I'm not I, saying I that this is the, that that's an excuse or a defense uh, for Pornhub or anything. It's just my frustration with the whole whole matter is that a website has to be taken down just because of the people of the users who are using it are doing illegal things. Okay, so um, yes and no. I I I have opinions, but anyways. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so COL 459 was the FOSTA episode. If you're interested, you can go back and listen to that. That's where we talked about um, how that legislation, you know, created this big stir on the internet. And um, we talk about how, you know, Love on Craigslist is a segment that we used to do previously, um, you know, had kind of wasn't possible anymore because Craigslist took down like all the the posting stuff. Also, COL episode 490 is rest in peace Tumblr porn because that was December in 2018. So this is an ongoing trend. This is kind of where I was thinking of it from. That being said, though, I think where the problem is, is that the structure was built badly from the very beginning. Now they're trying to backtrack and do the things that they should have done when they built the platform, which is verify you as an adult registered user. Mm -hmm. Like in order to be able to post anything, you have to have rights to the content. You have to sign off on that content. You need to be an adult. You need to be in said like mm -hmm. video. Like all of that stuff would have been highly protective in the very beginning, but they didn't do that. So here we are 13 years later and they're like, oh, like this isn't really what it is, but this is kind of my attitude. We got slap of the lawsuit. We're in big legal trouble. So we're just going to shut the shit down. Yeah. Okay. Then, but like, what did you do during the decade plus of all this time that you were making money? Why did you not ever reconsider your structure and start addressing this far sooner than when you get slapped with a lawsuit and you're going to be put out of business? Like, really? Because I'm curious. This is just me, like, again talking out loud uh i'm i'm curious if this was the first time a complaint that i mean lawsuit maybe but like have there been complaints because obviously people have complained about their you know you know there's videos of them on the on the site that they didn't consent to having on the site right. i'm sure it's happened we we know it like we've seen the videos of people who are probably being recorded without their permission Right. And then it's showing up online. And yeah, maybe you're lucky and you don't get like you don't get their face. So maybe you can, you know, do kind of that way. But if I recognize myself somehow in a video or I recognize the other person that I'm with, then I'm going to know it's me. And right. that's going to be where, you know, kind of it spitballs. Like I didn't ask for myself to be videotaped. And now it's out there for all the world to see, essentially. Right. Um, and I'm not okay with that. I, I, I have to believe that this is not the first time something like this has happened. And I'm sure there are other things on this as well, given what the articles we read and the complete, the actual lawsuit, because that's really the only information we really have. Right. But I can't you know, believe that this is the first time that something has happened in the 13 years that x has been online. Our porn hub, where someone right. has seen something or gotten something. So, again, like like you were saying, Gary, like, where was the acknowledgement and change in policies then? You could have had an opportunity where, oh my, like, people are talking about these videos and enough people have complained about someone's putting their video online without their consent or anything else that could have been potentially um, lawsuit of all. That's not a word. But <laughs> Well, I, I, I do think that the sites have had reporting tools. Yes. And, so, and like, you, you're on watching a video and you'd be like, oh, wait a minute, that's me in there. I didn't want that right, right, report, right, right. right? But, but the reporting tool is ass backwards. The reporting tool is Damon saying, hey, that's me in that video, and I never gave consent to this video being uploaded. It's ass backwards. 
it should have never been posted to begin with without confirmation of the person saying, yes, I am the legal owner of this and I have a right to post it. Because then these companies could have protected themselves and been like, we have a record that like, you know, X user says it's their content and we will be willing to take it down. But your grievance is actually with them. But instead of doing that, it's like anybody can post anything. And now what's what's really bad is that people just screenshot like or download the video and then re-upload it themselves under their own profile with a different name. And you're like, wait a minute. Like, this looks like the five other versions of this. They're all the exact same thing, but they all have all different titles from all different users. And it's just, it's it's so messy and flawed. And I'm just like, really? Yeah. Really? My, okay. my, my overall, like, I, I get it. I know it's gone. It's, it's going to be gone. And I agree. I think what Gary was saying is, like, there's a potential trend. And, I mean, it's hard to not see it that, you know, things are starting to start cracking down. I mean, Pornhub, I'll, I'll just put like it out there. Pornhub has yet to provide a verification process for non-amateur, non-like, you know, people who are looking to get money. If I just want to look at, you know, have a, 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 a profile on the page, I have a profile, but I can't put anything in it. I can't even put a picture. I can't put anything, I can't upload anything on it. So it's just like a blank site, which, again, doesn't really help if something goes wrong. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not saying I can, I obviously can't upload anything, but I can use that site and make some con comments on whoever, and you don't know who it is exactly because you can't verify who they are. Mm. Yeah, I, I think comments, you know, having an account be able to view stuff, make comments, that's not as big of a deal as as actually posting the content. Fair. So, so, no, no, no. Yeah. I, and I would agree to that, Jeff, yeah. that it's like ha commenting on something versus posting something are two different levels mm -hmm. of like responsibility, like and potentially legality. But the reality is, I think mm -hmm. Damon's point is nobody's a verified user i mean it's not it's not a universal policy across the board that individuals are held accountable whether they are just a viewer a commenter or a content creator and creator is used very loosely here because me taking like video that i found somewhere and uploading it baby mm -hmm. honey you're not a creator you are just a replicator like that that's mm -hmm. not the same thing but yeah. from the eyes of the website you know i guess that's what you are i don't know yeah. like i like it's it's been very interesting because jim actually mentioned it the other day like he was saying I, I don't see a whole lot of of um original meaning like mm -hmm. someone posting their own video up anymore which is true you don't see a lot of it as much anymore. Yes, on X2 to an extent, obviously not anymore. But in general, most of the stuff that is made by people at this point is behind paywalls. You have to pay for it. Um, or you have to find another way to get to it beyond the site. You know, um, some people post stuff on Twitter. Some people um only fans just for fans as we kind of been we're talking about earlier um mm -hmm. you know you're finding other ways to essentially get to it but you're essentially all you always will have to pay for it in some way shape or form which is fine i guess in a sense because people are essentially making their own content and they're getting paid to make their content um um but you know what are the initial benefits of xtube if you all remember back in the day was like I could set up a camera in the corner and jerk myself off, upload the video and people will watch it and people might like it and comment. And it's a little, maybe a bit of an ego boost. Maybe it's a little bit of a, uh, you might be an exhibitionist and want people to see you, you know, whatever it may be. And you could do that without having, you know, you could do it for free. And you could have videos and you could show someone a video. You could share it to someone if you're looking to get free with them in real time mm -hmm. as kind of a way to like, you know, spice things up or whatever. 
And now, if again, if I, and I keep using me, if I wanted to put something up, I can't right now. Like, there's no way I can unless I go through a process, which I'm assuming means I have to pay something. Again, I'm not, I haven't followed the whole processes in regards to the amateur or model um, mm-hmm. yeah. aspects think, of these sites. I think with Pornhub, you would have to have a picture of your yourself with like a sheet of paper or something indicating your ex to or port hub username so, uh etc yeah. just to kind of so that you have some direct documentation um <laughs> that but, is the that is the verification process that they put out recently however you can't do it because in order to verify that you are who you are you need to have a picture of yourself on the site which you can't upload or edit and since they tore everything down in December, you no longer have a picture of yourself on the site. So you technically, you're in a circle that cannot be fulfilled because you can't upload a picture of yourself to then upload the verifying picture to so that the two match to get the verification process completed. Yeah, I think there, there, there's can't. a way. <laughs> it's just not one of those things that, which anybody has gone into because I believe... Um, I did. Uh, I believe... Uh, a one person or a couple I know uh, out of uh, Arizona, I think, it was in New Mexico. In any case, um, uh, had had all their stuff taken down on XTube, and then they got set up on uh, Pornhub after all of this debacle. Mm-hmm. So it's it's, it's possible it's to get through. It's just, um, it, it it's just. The actual specifics. I don't know if they yeah. had to go through Model Hub, they probably and that Model that's Hub. where something where where you could upload something that doesn't get posted, and then then mm-hmm. going from there. Um, right, and that kind of I think is what makes reference to the third party verification service type thing. Or it could very well be perhaps what Damon's pointing out is that they have a broken subsystem. Like if you were to come in as a new user everything works but if you already are an existing user that might be where the things are broken and it just goes in a circle endlessly because i will sorry because i just happened to go look at the site um there is a way now apparently to begin the verification that is different than what it was okay so they so so they were like oh wait a minute this the process is broken and we need to figure out the better way of doing it well somebody probably listened to our earlier episode where damon pointed that out and bitched about it and then they told them (laughs) they were like you know there's this guy in Cincinnati, Ohio, who's really pissed off at you, and you should get your shit together because this queen's about to take you down. <laughs> <laughs> so I will read from the site. Um, quote, in order to be eligible to upload content and receive earnings in the model program, you need to verify your identity. To complete your identity verification, please follow the steps below from our certified documentation verification service provider, YOTI.com. So this is that third party okay. verification program. I'm right. very curious. I may have to do that later because I'm, and this I'm, is I'm curious about that. <laughs> what I what I'm curious about is like what bothers me is this whole thing is up like this this stuff is so broken. Like YouTube and Facebook have been in the lead of the social media sphere. And why is the adult entertainment industry not catching up? Like Long, what was it? How many years ago? Five years ago? Six years ago? Facebook did this fucking crackdown on like you had to have a real name, like an authentic real name. And so like a lot of like drag performers and adult entertainers, like all these other people suddenly started losing their profiles. They got suspended because, you know, like Chi Chi LaRue is not a real name, apparently, you know, and, and, and crap like that. And so I'm like, OK, like if they were already addressing this and yes, they're much bigger platforms with like, you know, billions of users, whatever. The point is, why could you not see the writing on the wall and be like, oh, you know what? We should probably be thinking about this as well and authenticating every person that comes through to our yeah. site. Now, yeah. I understand that there are people who don't want anybody to know their business. Mm-hmm. I totally get that. I was a person like that, you know, before, um, you know, I came into my own. And even so, still to this day, given my job, like it's not everybody's business where the hell I go and what I do. Um, but that being said, 
I understand how these are businesses. These are profit-making entities, and they need to protect their interest, especially their potential revenue stream. So, like, yeah. I just I, – I guess I'm, I'm flabbergasted that they're, you know – Yeah. I agree with Damon. Like, one of the things that was super shitty was the taking down of people's content and giving them zero recourse. The least that could have been done was to create a very painful – long standing 27 step process to get your shit back but at mm -hmm. least if you had done that people like damon and others sorry i don't mean to speak on your half damon but like okay. were content creators that uploaded things of their own making should have had the ability to get their content back there's too much presumption by the platform that you already had it saved to a cloud, to a hard drive, to something you still had access to. And I don't know how many people were like, well, there goes 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, like however, like all this content that I had for all this time, and I presumed it was always going to be there. And guess what? Now it's gone, and I have n I didn't make backups because people mm -hmm. didn't think about that before. Yeah. And and that, I think, was super shitty of, of that process at the time. Yeah. I was like... I would have... It would have been nice again to have gotten a warning so i'll give another example so um yahoo groups shut their stuff down i think a year or two ago 2019 mm -hmm. something like that they were shutting down all of their groups they were no longer doing it anymore so whether your group was adult or gaming or what have you they were like they sent you several emails that said mm -hmm. as of this date you know we're shutting down yahoo groups you know Everything will be gone, blah, blah, blah. Um, they gave you an opportunity to download your um, stuff from the site. You, it, um, anything that you had in the group, um, except for like um, posts, like, like actual like things that were written, like emails essentially, like, but like um, any like files, um, yeah. what have you, media were downloaded. Uh, you could download and then you have it. It was because um, our our letter group was using Yahoo Groups. Mm -hmm. So we essentially, I knew that it was happening. So I went through the process and was like, I'm just going to like get all this shit and download all of it. Right. So that it's, even if we don't really, because a lot of the stuff we don't use anymore, but at least I've had it should for one reason or another we need it well uh, right there's something to be said for historical record like i got really bent out of shape recently because the bear club i used to be with and served as an officer on they had a whole archive online of gallery images since like mm -hmm. as far back as as they could go and i recently was thinking about something and i was like oh i wonder what year that was and how that was and i went to go look for the pictures the entire gallery is gone. It's only like the mm -hmm. last like two years or whatever. Mind you, the club has already celebrated, I think, 25 years. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, that just goes to show like new leadership and how things, I guess, evolve and move on and you don't give mm -hmm. a shit or whatever. And I was like, that's really shitty. And so, you know, like there was a recent post by a previous president um, prior to me who had said that. They were going to be interviewed to talk about the history of the bear culture in that region, and they reached out to the board and the club, and they kind of – anyways, it all fell apart. The, the thing is, is like, you know, we are responsible for our own stuff. That's why there's the leather archives in Chicago. That's why there are these entities, these groups that like try to save this stuff. So – it's like I don't see where the difference lies between whether it's adult or non-adult. It's our history, period, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. when it's your own – fucking history pun intended you know so you know the reality is if you trusted a service to put the things up the least they should be able to do is give you access to it back and they're still not doing it and that's what boggles my mind i'm like really like you're still not providing anybody any potential way and i'm sort of surprised that no one's figured out like i don't know if they really deleted it i still doubt that but i'm surprised nobody figured out a way to like archive or find mm. the code of wherever it's gone to you know what i mean because like yeah i mean sure that would be a security issue but it's like it's just ridiculous you know i mean i i can't imagine not having access to the things that were there before but then again why should i be any surprised 
I mean, recently there was a reference at work. They were like, oh, this form changed. We've deleted the previous version. And I'm yeah. like sitting there going, yeah. Yeah. y'all should really be keeping an archive with a change log. But <laughs> why would we want to do that? I don't know. Yeah, you know, and I, mean, I get it, it that there's concern that like an older version. Give me, give me a break. Come on. I, I yeah. well, I think one of the reasons for for these problems is is basically because of uh, panicked reactions. Because this is the the whole thing in December. That's what it felt like. Is yeah. something happened? It initiated. They panicked. And they're like, okay, we're going to just delete all the non-verified users' content. Just get rid of it. Instead of being like, okay, we're just going to flag all these accounts so that all their videos go private. The only people mm -hmm. who can see, see right. those videos are just the users who created them. That way, if they need mm -hmm. to, they can download them or something. And, uh, everything. Instead of thinking before that, they're like, oh, just get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> and, Honestly, that would have been an easier like. Right thing right. to do like mm -hmm. no because then you can go to you would have gone to the site and been like well, why are all my videos private i didn't ask for them to be private right. and then some like blurbage kind of like with the goodbye that they gave us and be like mm -hmm. hey users um somebody filed a lawsuit against us so for now everything is private i mean that's not what it would have actually said but that's what it would have meant to have been yeah said. well one of those <laughs> where where the only way the and being private is the only way you could see it you can't yeah. just like be like, I have this, I can share the link with other people. No, that's unlisted. Yeah. We mean private, yeah. private. Only yeah, right, you can right. see it. Which is fair. And I would have been, I think, I think a lot of people would have been better with that because one, they didn't lose the content. It's there. It's just not viewable right. to anyone but themselves. And two, it's a possibility in the future. It, they go through the verification process. Then all of a sudden you have the option to put it up put it public or on yeah. this state or something. Yeah. Right. And even but, if the verification process wasn't until like now, yeah. as an example, but I think like, that the we're reaction working is working on something. Yeah. It was yeah. a reaction to a, to a, to a not so wonderful situation for a company. A lawsuit is not a wonderful situation for a company. And um, yeah, I, I agree with you, Jeff. It was a panic. Like mm -hmm. it was, it, someone hit a panic button and everyone went flailing and this was the idea that they came up with was it a well, good idea no <laughs> and there and there's and, and that there's just some slowly to the downfall right and for me like if i was one of their lawyers i would be gravely concerned that they actually deleted all the content and here's mm -hmm. why because i'm sorry i can't imagine a court of law or a, or a jury of peers thinking that's acceptable behavior because to me that looks like you're guilty like eradicating potential evidence that you were in the wrong says to me, you think you might have been in the wrong, which means you probably could have been in the wrong or were in the wrong. Like, mm -hmm. so it's like, it, it, yeah, it's throwing out the baby with the bathwater. It's that kind of situation where you where like it like, yeah, like we fucked up and we don't want you to see. So and, and oh, well. Hmm. Why don't you want us to see that? Mm. What did you do? What was going on there? Right. And and to be fair, our our outrage, our frustration, our anger, our like pisosity or whatever is coming from a place of we obviously were uh the audience and we were not the ones that created the issue. Mm -hmm. Not that not that there aren't people out there that are probably upset that we're in the wrong to begin with, but mm -hmm. fuck you. Like you were in the yeah. wrong. You shouldn't have been uploading shit that wasn't yours. End of story. Like, yeah. or uploading shit that like is illegal. considered illegal and morally corrupt. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. The, yeah. The, the few eggs, the, the few rotten eggs spoil the bunch or whatever. Right. Yeah. Apple, the Apple bunch. Yeah. yeah. It's very much kind of becoming that. And, um, it's again um, to kind of I'm not you know I don't like I'm not blame, uh, this is I'm not blaming victims I'm not doing any wrong and no one I support those people who were wrong and anyone who's 
content was up there that would without the permission or it was shop, you know anything along those lines that was illegal and should not have been there mm-hmm. um and i kind of like what jeff was saying is like the people that put that content up there if you can find them should also be held liable in this sense and you know lawsuits right. if they can but it's a matter of finding them which unfortunately again you can't do per se because you xtube pornhub were not at the time verifying who was putting up the content right so you kind and of had I, that yeah it just occurred to me actually something I don't think the content's gone. I really don't think it's gone, and here's mm. why. I think if you're served with a, a lawsuit, especially from a federal court, bitch, all that stuff is evidence now. You can't magically eradicate it. It all has sure. to be on the record. And the FBI, whoever's going through looking for this information, they have to have access to it. Yeah. Now, I don't know how people feel about this job, like being the ones that have to review all this content for the sake of a lawsuit, yeah. but. Mm. Yeah. I th- I think potentially that might have really been sort of part of the back, the behind the scenes, the BTS about what went down and why everything suddenly disappeared because mm-hmm. it all became part of a of a court case. But that kind of goes back to your earlier point, Damon, where it's like, just own it, like just say it, like as shitty as it is, just outright say as a company, like there's a lawsuit, mm-hmm. we're abiding by the law. You know what I mean? This is where yeah. things are at. And we'll try to provide more as the details develop. You know what I mean? It, yeah. At least as opposed to we removed everything. Now you have to become a like a X, Y, Z, whatever label thing in order to have like in order to be able to upload content and completely ignoring that like thousands, millions, you know, of things just gone, just eradicated. Mm-hmm. Apparently, I don't think it's really eradicated. I think it's out there somewhere. Yeah. So anyways. Watch this. Uh, watch this. If you've got something uploaded to to Pornhub, you get verified and you get access to the content that you've already uploaded. Just instead of making it just private, they just disabled it from your account until you're verified. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, that I would mean, be cool. Not, Probably not the case. Yeah. Again, it's it's going to be you know. I'll put it like this. There are again, there are people loading content. Like on XTube, on Pornhub, et cetera, et cetera. Like there are there are sites that are uploading content, like Bear Films. Like I just looked, literally just jumped on the XTube because I was curious. We obviously can't show you viewers because we're on YouTube, but um, like the first video is a Bear Film supported. You know, it's probably a condensed video where you probably don't get the money shot or whatever, and it's just kind of meant to show. It's a trailer. A, a trailer and then the next video is a bear and cub and bear 92 that has a a check mark next to it so i'm assuming that they are a verified user um mm-hmm. yeah verified member and it has a little check mark and all that stuff so there's that and um i'm assuming they're not behind paywall no okay so yeah so you could potentially upload stuff now that's your own uh, but i guess there's m- probably a much larger deeper process to do it yeah i wonder if it takes longer for videos to upload because it probably has to be seen by a, maybe a third party before it goes up or something along those lines who knows i wonder how much you get paid to be that third party good question and i'm just saying How's that for a job? <laughs> Jeff know. figured it out. That's what I was really going with. It. It's like I don't know. I, okay, I know like I, 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 no say. Jack could take a new part. Keep keep it know. keep in mind. Keep in mind though <laughs> that if you're the third party, you're not just looking at like the gay stuff. I'm sure they would have you also be looking at the straight stuff. And then a whole bunch of, you won't have, have like bear stuff. You're going to have these ugly ass. No, no, no. I I totally understand, Jeff. During the interview, I will say, yes, I am willing to watch all of this. Well, maybe not this, but pretty much like all of this. I I may not really be willing to, but I will because that would be part of the job. (laughs) 
but I need you to recognize I have an expertise in this <laughs> and this. <laughs> So why are you? I'm really good so why would you like to watch the porn? Because I'm very familiar with uh, having sex with with men and uh, and the different holes and uh, uh, kinks that people have. So I'm very familiar with the type of content that that would be posted. Uh, I am, however, not familiar necessarily with the uh, straight side, but uh, I am okay with uh, uh, examining it. I can look at it. Uh, yeah, although I admit that my focus my will probably be looking at the dick, not the pussy. I previously identified a straight, so I think that qualifies. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> anyway. I was bi yes. for about six months. Oh. I will say this much. Um, that would be a good job. I don't, I maybe part-time. You know, four hours a night. Right before bed. Girl. <laughs> Yeah, do I get lube with this? Okay. Just, just ask <laughs> no, there is no lube budget. <laughs> what is my, what 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 extra benefits do I get? Is there a friend? Do I get a friend with benefits? Hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have uh, uh, discounts for AdamandEve.com. <laughs> nice. Really, so, as we get ready to wrap up and end the show, I think the biggest thing for me is I want to see new business platforms come up and I want to see them do it right from the very beginning. And I want to see people be supportive of that. There's a part of me that while I will miss seeing these sites with all this various content on it, if it means it all goes away because people were shitheads and they were stealing copyrighted, like created material content and like posting it without permission of either the creators or the actors or whoever's in it, then so be it. Like we, you have to start being like, I don't know, a human being about it. Like you just have to recognize that like other people have this, you know, and in this age, um, that's just no, not cool. Yeah. I, I, I still want, I would really like to have, have a site. Like if you kind of combine, because I think, uh, only fans just for fans are kind of doing it right. I'm not sure if it's exactly, but it, it, with the more, a little bit more verification and such. But I want the interface that's a lot like the current X Student Pornhub, where it's where you got the categories and you can browse individual videos instead of being like, subscribe to this person's channel. Where? When you could recommend on other things or, and such. Right, right, right. Like, like a platform where they're all co like collated together. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of pick and choose amongst it. It's kind of like... Um, that, that's exactly what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about. Because right. that, cause like, in, in, like Pornhub it has the category. So I want to look at chubby guys. I can click chubby category. And I get a nice list of different videos. And it's not of an individual person's videos. It's from all of these different places they've tagged and maybe in order to watch a video you need to subscribe to the person whether it's a free subscription or a, a or, or you actually have to pay to subscribe to them to actually see the video or something which right. is kind of what i'm talking about as the that like only fans model is you can watch these videos if you're subscribed to them some people have subscriptions which are just completely free because they aren't look in it for the money or something right. but they in order to have the account to upload those videos they have to go through a verification process yeah. so they've already pretty much done it but if we can kind of like combine the two pornhub's broken pornhub x tube they're just broken right now uh but having that sort of thing happening and being able to have that mash of just a group because then you might will discover people more um, I, I think the discovery of people for, for OnlyFans, for example, is not great. Like, they'll give suggestions, but they'll give, like, three suggestions of people. But it's the people. It's not, like, video examples or anything. Right. On that platform, they require the content creators to be their own promoters, their own marketers, their own. Mm -hmm. and, and that's problematic because they're not cross-referencing. Like, they're not utilizing the data that they have available to be like oh this person's very popular a, like i don't know if you can on 
like only fans or just for fans, but it would make sense if you could keyword tag your content and then that would provide them with that extra layer of data so then they could cross reference it. So when, you know, I go on and I'm looking, you know, at um, Alex, a.k.a. Fiery Biscuits and, you know, he uses certain tags, then I could be like, oh, Steven Universe cosplay, like, you know, <laughs> like, you know, butt pounding, dick sucking, whatever. <laughs> You know, and that pops up, you know, just a couple of like suggestions on the side or on the bottom or whatever, you know, and then you kind of have something to go with. I, I agree like that would be a good thing for the future, but I don't know if that's going to happen. You know, my, my mm -hmm. greater concern is that a lot of this platform stuff's going to go away mm -hmm. and then we're going to be kind of relegated to just whatever is going to allow us. And right now it's primarily Twitter, it seems. And even then. That makes me very concerned because yeah. Twitter is one of the larger platforms that's out there. And if it shuts all the adult content down for some reason, then I don't know yeah. what comes next. Yeah, yeah. but it, yeah, it, we have that bite sized bit, bits on, on uh, uh, Twitter, which, you know, for me, I prefer having the longer form content, but that's just me. Um, but like right yeah. now, it's if it's not well, anything from the Pornhub network, They're still okay because everybody's going after Pornhub. They're not going after these other sites, which there are other sites out there. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I'm no, I'm frequently not. using one. Yeah, nowadays. Uh, which I and... like their recommendation en engine, although they recommend <laughs> the same exact videos, even though I've watched them a couple times. I'm like, don't recommend things I've already watched. Give me new stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. If you keep watching it, they're gonna keep recommending it. Obviously, you like it. That's that's how that that <laughs> along is working. <laughs> yeah. So again, um, yes, there are other sites out there. The other, you know, and we've kind of been tiptoeing around it, but I think we should probably mention it. Like, you can also just start paying for porn. Yeah. Like. You know, mm. well, right. I mean, that, getting, that's getting where... accounts and 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 and, and if you want some of the older porn, some of the, like bulk mail has some of the older porn. But I mean, it, it, sometimes sometimes there's just porn which you can't get anywhere now uh, by even for flat out paying. Like I, there was right. Chub site, uh, but that got acquired and is through uh, and that. Things in some of their videos just kind of disappeared into oblivion. Well, and that is okay. like part of the problem because, you know, adult film as an industry is, is theoretically in America been around since like the late 60s into the 70s forward. You know, whether it was 35 millimeter, you know, 8 millimeter, 16 millimeter, you know, home movie stuff and and stag films. And, you know, and eventually, you know, with the change of technology, we ended up with, you know, uh, videotape, which then led to DVD, which led to Blu-ray, which led to, you know, streaming and digital content. I mean, it's all evolved over time, but a lot of that older stuff is not available unless you already possess it in mm -hmm. some fashion, and then you actually have it converted. And that's, yeah. I'll be honest, that's some of the stuff that I find appealing right now, because the the 2021 production of things isn't all that exciting to me. But seeing, you know, some some vintage like early 90s, I'm kind of like, wow, like this really takes me back. But then again, I'm old. So, um, <laughs> you know, but yeah, I will say. Um, with everything that has changed, especially with porn and mark and stuff, um, it it's to be blunt, I'm, I'm going for the quick the quickie. I'm just going to be out like like it's easier for me. I'm just going to say it like now. It's easier for me to have my, I'm, I'm sitting in front of my computer to go to Xtube, whatever, Pornhub, and, and find a video and, you know, start going. You know, it's easier than for me now, because all my porn's upstairs, because um, you all knew I had a bunch of porn. All my porn is upstairs. It's technically in the office. Actually, I don't even think I can get to it now. Yeah, fuck. Um, I'm gonna have. I would have to move a whole bunch of stuff out of the way. Oh, you have to, to open move up so much out of the way. Hush, hush. You don't get to talk. You have you to are, do you work. You are listening, Jeff. 
When he wants a quick jerk, he doesn't have time to rearrange furniture, move boxes, find old content, hook up a VCR, hook the VCR up to a monitor or TV, put the VC- put the tape in, fast forward or rewind to the exact couple of minutes. Too much, too much effort. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm getting to. Is there, is there a service out there that, uh, like, uh, is a, a uh, digitization uh, service or something? Where you know. could like send them a, a send them your a VHS or DVD, and then they can like convert it all onto a thumb drive for you or, or something. Yes, but I don't know if any of them will touch adult content. That's that's the key key factor there right. is is because yeah. like, I know they be able, like I know that, that you could pay like you could take old photo albums which is something I might do one day because mm-hmm. my mom had totes of photos um and actually send them off and have them all digitized mm-hmm. and then you get them back like I think on a CD ROM or DVD ROM or something but I'd I'd be like I, I think nowadays they probably either uh, upload them to a site that you can download from right. or they they'll send you a thumb drive. Right. I don't think but, anybody's using the CDs anymore. But I know that they could do it or with uh, two, like two-dimensional film, like static image photography. They can do it with like all the various versions of video. Um, but no, like I, I've kind of wondered about that. I'm like because there's some old uh, content on VHS tape, for example, that I would really not, like to not be lost. Not that I'm in it, mm-hmm. but I, like you know, there's there's some old stuff uh what is it uh was it joe gage um Mm. there was like there were some distinct couple of like production lines and you know hell i might be interested in watching some old you know hadrian stuff from from back in the day uh Mm -hmm. but anyways yeah Yeah. that's that's what i have to say about that again it's it's one of those things where just to kind of like to wrap up um this stings i'll put it like that it stings Mm -hmm. i know we were wrapping up before but anyway (laughs) um it stings um and i think maybe that's why our at least for me at first like the you know kind of fuck it you know kind of um mentality came from um now because you know we've always had you know to be blunt we've always had this platform available to use to fap to to upload if you wanted to upload to 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 enjoy you know um you you learn the things that you in, liked by watching you know possibly from watching X2 you learn certain things that maybe get you off a little bit faster that you didn't know you knew before so I will give kudos to X2 for providing the platform that they provided um I still think it sucked that they did what they did back in December. And, you know, this is kind of a finality of the situation, you know, that the, that the, you know, that they're now having to shut down. Um, but, you know, it, 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 it's not going to, it, it is a sign. I think it will, I'll say like, it's a sign of something more that hopefully the right company will come around and make it possible for this to be doable again, you know, with the right resources, with the hell, the, the, the proper place, you know, things in place. Like my hope would be that companies will learn from X to Pornhub, what have you, and be like, well, we don't, we don't want to do that. So we're going to do these things so that from the get go, like Jerry said, you're verified and you can post your content whoever said it fuck i don't care <laughs> wait, wait, is there a jerry on this show gary gary yeah. whoever said it turning into my fuck. mother <laughs> yes you are <laughs> please stop don't don't do that anyways david your point yeah so a site will come along that we'll be able to do this properly to where we could then enjoy and fap again to our heart's content. Yeah, we want our porn social network. Yes. That, that was essentially what 
what X do for him and all these sets were were. And then a few people yeah. spoiled it. But hey, guess what? I think that's the end. Anyway, so just play ways to contact us. Let us know. Um, send us your um, eulogies of <laughs> Xtube to us uh, at uh, that's by leaving a yeah. comment <laughs> at like uh, cubsoutloud.com. Shoot us an email at cubsoutloud at gmail.com. Uh, leave us a voicemail uh, with your eulogy. At 361 Seal Talk, that's 361 265 8255. You can also find us on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. I'm not sure about the Tumblr thing anymore. Is that really a thing for, with us anymore? No. Okay, I'm taking that off the dock. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. There we are. It's off there. <laughs> <laughs> you can also join our entourage chat and chat us up at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash c-o-l uh if you'd like to know when we're planning on recording these shows you can find out on our google calendar at tinyworld.com slash calendar dash c-o-l you can get various accoutrements uh, such as the uh consensus by four play shirt or just a, a logo. brand new yes brand new bitches yeah new shirts <laughs> i mean dazzle had a sale so they, <laughs> Shirts we had before, but as you can see, they got different colors and different designs. Because I don't think you had the bear design before, did you, Damon? No. I, well, I have the bear. Okay, so I have the bear design consistent my foreplay in this color in a sweatshirt. Ah. Okay. Ah. I <laughs> got a t-shirt. Okay. Now I have a t-shirt. That's all at zazzle.com slash comes out loud again. Uh, if you're in a different country than the United States, you can switch your country. Get your pricing and your uh, currency of choice. Uh, also, we want to promote Smashy, uh, who did the Consent is My Poor pl Play and other designs for us. Uh, you can uh, find his shirts at tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy the Bear. Um, and you can also become a patron for, with us at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Get the uh, uh, podcast version um, for a day early, as well as access to the the pre and post show post recording, um, all at patreon.com slash comes out loud. Uh, if you want to just send us some cash, help us uh, improve and to um, build us up the cash that we need for the server costs, which happens every two years, uh, well, you can send that to us at people.me slash comes out loud. You can find us at Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, uh, uh, Spotify, Amazon, and Audible. You can find me anywhere in the internet as box set box puppy box cut box something or other and windum w y n d g e m on Twitch where you'll find bears and dragons and Final Fantasy fourteen uh, streaming uh, on occasion uh, subscribes and, and, and so you can or follow in order to get notifications because I've been I, I don't currently have a set schedule yet because of my changeover so awesome did some streaming uh, earlier today. Damon? Um, um, if you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as TheaterCub79 on most bear related sites or on Facebook. And you can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. The Twitter is definitely not safe for work. There you go. Gary? If you want to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GareBear73. That's G A R B E A R 7 3. And with that, Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Ciao for now. <laughs> <laughs>